Hey guys, happy Friday. So second day this week of distance learning, a real short week. We eased back in and there's not a whole lot that you need to do today. So today's Friday, April the 17th, 2020. So let's go through our overview and see what we're working on. Remember in religion, we're working on chapter 27. Jesus comes to us. Remember, he comes to us in the mass. Anytime we go to mass, we are with Jesus there. Okay, so you guys are going to work on activity book page 105 today. So just remember your activity book. So we're going to think about the words that the priest says during the mass. You're going to need crayons for this. You're going to need a red crayon, a brown crayon, a blue crayon, and an orange crayon. Okay, you're going to read this prayer, these prayers that are said during the Mass, and there are four things you need to underline. Using your red crayon, you're going to underline the words that the priest says to consecrate the bread. Remember yesterday that we learned about the consecration, how that's the most important part of the Mass. That's the part of the Mass where the bread and wine become the body and blood. So think about how that bread becomes the body. Find the sentence part of that prayer that where the priest says the um, words that make that bread become the body. Underline those words with red. Then with your brown crayon, you're going to underline the words that the priest says to consecrate the wine. Okay, think about how that wine became the blood of Christ or how it becomes the blood of Christ. Find the words in there that talk about that, that the priest says. Then you're going to find with your blue crayon, you're going to find the words where the priest calls on the Holy Spirit to join us. And then with your orange crayon, you're going to underline the words that tell why Jesus died for us. We should all know why Jesus died for us. We've been talking about that all through our Easter season. Okay. All right, guys, if you're not sure, go look in the book and you can think about that with chapter 27. Okay. For spelling and phonics, there is actually a mistake. You guys are going to be working on Word Workbook page 52, and I have a separate video that's walking you through that IE rule again, just to make sure that you understand how to read that I, those IE words. Okay. For reading, you are going to get your folder out inside your folder. Yesterday you worked on progress unit 11 progress test. Today you're going to do unit 12 progress test on this story called Shine. Okay, it's about a girl and it's a fiction story. Okay, so you're going to read that. Remember, you want to read it at least two times. The first time to decode those words. The second time to make sure that you're understanding what the story is about. Answer the five questions. Remember, you want to go back in the story and find the answers. Okay, if you can't find the answer in the story, then it's not correct. All right, and remember, your parents may not help you with that. You need to do it independently. Okay, AR is up and running. I talked to Ms. Chapman and she said it's all ready to go. Um, it, when you log in, it may take you to a different website, but it's still part of Renaissance Learning. It's going to look a little bit different. So make sure you take an AR test on a book that you finished, and then you need to read silently. All right. For handwriting, work on two more pages in your handwriting book. All right. For math, you guys are going to be taking a math test today. It's just a review of subtracting two-digit numbers. Okay, I'm going to have a separate video that will walk you guys through this test. Remember, your parents may not help you with this unless you need help reading a question. After you finish your test, you will work on reflex math. Okay, and then for science, you guys are going to take your science test. It's also in that folder with all your other tests. This is your unit three, all about animals. Guys, you may use your book for this. Get your book out, and if you're not sure of an answer, 
go and look in your book. You can use the notes that I sent back, those stories that you read, those texts that you read about the different animals. Okay. I um, want you to pay attention carefully to the writing part. Okay. Here you're telling how the basic needs of plants and animals are alike. So you're going to write sentences, write a sentence here to tell what they both have. When they're alike, it's things that they both have or that they both need, I should say. What are the basic needs here? This is the um, life cycle of a butterfly. Here's the picture. I want you guys to look in your book. There are four stages to it, so I want four sentences. Tell what happens, stage one. In the first stage, this happens. Second stage, third stage, and fourth stage. So I am expecting four sentences for this one. Okay? All right. Um, and then finally, in social studies, if you have not finished your landform research paper, please make sure that you um, finish that and that you get that. That needs to be turned back into the school so I can grade that. And then um, your landform project that you should be working on. On Saturday, we are going to share, for those of you that are finished and want to do a Zoom video conference and share your project with the other kids in the class, I'll send your parents an email about that and we'll have um, at 12 o'clock on Saturday, we'll have a little landform party. Okay, but if you're not finished um, with it, keep working on it during that time. I need to get a picture of your project, not your paper, the paper you're going to turn in, but your actual project by Sunday night. And be creative with this. Have fun. It doesn't have to be real artistic. You can just think about different ways to make that landform. Okay? All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.